little bit about ICF. A lot of people uh, have heard that term but really don't know what it means. It stands for Insulated Concrete Forms. Uh, the name of our company is ICF Con Concepts and uh, we are a, uh, a concrete company or ICF installer and we build walls, floors, and roofs that pretty much withstand anything. Uh, we're talking uh, earthquakes, uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, uh, termites don't eat concrete, so you really don't have to worry about it once you build it, but the main uh, feature is the insulated properties, and that's what we're talking about, the I in ICF is the insulation here, which is almost three inches thick on both sides. Now, our product that we use is called Nadura. Uh, you've got some other brands of things here that uh, you know we've tried. Uh, they work. They're not as user friendly. Uh, they won't fold down. This has to be shipped this way or assembled after you get it. Uh, here again, here's a small piece of a competitive product uh, that just you know is hard to deal with from the standpoint of user friendly and moving along. Our products, as you can see, they just pop out like this so they can be shipped on a truck. You can get more things in there and you're not paying for air to be shipped and then you just push these down and they lock together. Uh, this is a 45 degree angle block, as you can see here. Uh, this one over here will be a, uh, a corner block. It's a little bit wider. Uh, the reason they come in different widths is according to how you engineer them. And then this is the most common width here. And this is what we call a six inch core. And this develops a full 12 inch wall. So what we do is we cut all of our rebar and the rebar just, just snaps into these areas here. And this holds the rebar in when the concrete's being poured. And then once you pour your concrete in and all that sets up, and then if this is a top block, you put something like this in there, and then when the concrete sets up on that, you can put your top plate on here and bolt it down, and then your roof attaches to that. So it's a, you know, a very simple process. Then the, uh, the blocks themselves, if they have to be cut, you can cut it with something like a little camping saw. So they're lightweight. Uh, this is actually two blocks stacked on top of one another. And you see how well they hold together, which are competitive products. That was another reason we picked Nadura to use, is these will not come apart. They will not float up while you're pouring concrete because they have these little, little alligator clips right at the top here that grab each other and hold on. Uh, this is another product we use called Optec. This is for floors or roofs. And this product here, you put your, your rebar and your insulation it goes in these areas and you put your rebar in here. And this takes up a lot of your area that would be normally concrete. It makes it lighter plus insulated. Plus you've got all your insulation here encapsulated in between two pieces of heavy gauge metal. So what you get is the rebar in here, concrete beams all throughout after you pour it, and then the finished product, if you can get this side, is just white painted metal. Now you can attach sheetrock to that, you can paint it a different color, it's whatever you want, it's according to what you're using it for. If it's a, a parking garage or a uh, just the inside of a garage or a house, something like that, you may just want to leave it white. And then uh, the, uh, as far as the use of it, once you pour this, you can walk on it, drive a car on it. It can be used for several different floors up in houses, any type of building. So the insulation factor on these properties, once you have the walls or the floors poured at between 50 and 60 R rated. So that cuts your utility bills anywhere from 30 to 50 percent. Okay, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, like I say, this this particular house here, you can see how thick the walls are and how the door is set back. And you know the utility bills on a house, a 3,000 square foot house this size, 
your electric, gas, or water, everything runs, you know, $100 a month. So that's uh, about as, as good as it's going to get in this type of thing. And then when we insulate the roofs, we use a product called uh, isonine. It's sprayed in. It's a, this same type of foam, but when it dries, there's a closed cell and an open cell. And according to what, whether we're putting it in walls or the ceilings, that's the part that we use. Okay, that's pretty much it, and that's ICF for you today. I'm going to show you today a couple of different ways uh, how you can handle your window treatments uh, on an ICF wall. Uh, this particular area here, the windows are attached to the outside of the wall, therefore it leaves you a, a very big uh, window seal to uh, sit things on. This particular one was trimmed out in Cypress. We do them in granite, marble, tile, whatever you want according to what you're going to be using them for. Uh, the other type of treatment that you can do, you can actually set the window all the way in and have a big ledge on the outside like a Mediterranean look and I'll come over here and show you one of those. Okay, here's the other type of uh, treatment that we were talking about. The window is uh, attached on the inside and then you have a big uh, finished area with stucco on the outside or you can finish it out in brick, stone, you know, whatever type of siding that your house has. Once you build a house out of ICF, you really can't tell on the outside or the inside really that it's made out of ICF because you've finished everything uh, just like you would a traditional home, but the thickness of the wall is what gives it away. So you can have that type of look with them inset or you can have them on the outside. Uh, here's another uh, treatment we can do with the ICF. This particular deck here is built out of insel deck, concrete poured on top. It's insulated. Uh, the master bedroom of this home is underneath here. Uh, this is a pyramid wall that comes up and then you put your railing of choice on top of that. This happens to be aluminum. You can build your lighting in to the blocks, and then this is solid concrete in here, and all your insulation and your trims. But uh, this makes a nice terrace, patio, uh, balcony, you know, whatever you need in your particular design of home. Uh, this is all concrete. Everything is all stuccoed over concrete. Here's another good example up in the uh, attic of an ICF home. Uh, this is up approximately 40 feet uh, from the ground level, uh, all poured with ICF. Uh, here's your forms, one side and then the other. And of course you've got a double layer here for your plate of uh, 2 by 12s and then you have your hurricane uh, straps attached to your roof. Uh, but back in here we've, we've taken double LVLs 14 inches high and, and put them together and then connected that to the ICF wall with steel brackets and we can show you one of those at another uh, point and you can see where the bolts come up through and are down into the concrete 24 inches deep and then bolt your top plate right onto your wall which is where your rafters are attached so there's, there's not really anything that you can't do with the ICF product and then once those walls set up, they're 50% stronger than even a slab would be because they cure slowly inside the form. So they make them stronger and they withstand, according to the size of the block you use, you know, anything from 200 to 350 mile an hour winds just based on how it's engineered.